navigating joint ownership. Stay tuned. Hi there, thanks for watching this week's video. It's Shirley with Shirley's Real Estate Group, John L. Scott, and this is the BS Real Estate Show, buying and selling real estate that is. So I had someone ask me for advice or guidance. They stated many people who want to buy a house are struggling with pandemic related financial problems. Some may want to consider partnering with another family or couple to obtain a joint mortgage. Can you offer guidance on the possibilities of achieving this? So the short answer is absolutely yes. To offer guidance on how the best way would be for you um, and the other couple or individual or family to go about this, I would need uh, some more information on your specific situation. Depending on your relationship, not all parties um, have to occupy the home either. So there are several different ways to accomplish this. In addition to a single family home, you can also look at purchasing multifamily like a duplex, triplex, or fourplex. Another thing to think about when you're purchasing with another individual, couple, or family is how you'd like to take title. Uh, Connie, my title rep, and I were going to do a video regarding navigating joint ownership before COVID hit. So purchasing with another couple or family has been on the rise for some time now. I think the main contributors to this would be uh, to keep monthly expenses down and the fact we're all living longer now. There are five ways to hold title on real property. The first is uh, joint tenancy. This occurs when two or more people hold title to real estate jointly with equal rights to enjoy the property during their lives. If one of the partners dies, their rights of ownership pass to the surviving owners. The second option is tenancy in common. Two or more persons hold title to real estate jointly with equal rights to enjoy the property during their lives. Unlike joint tenancy, tenants in common hold title individually for their respective part of the property and can dispose or encumber it at will. This type of title can be entered into at any time, even years after another person enters into an agreement. Ownership can be willed to another party, and in the event of death, ownership will transfer to the owner's heirs undivided. The third option can only be used when owners are legally married. Tenants by entirety is ownership in real estate under the assumption that the couple is one person for legal purposes. This option conveys ownership to them as one person with title transferred to the other in its entirety if one of them dies. The fourth option is sole ownership, which can be characterized as ownership by an individual or entity legally capable of holding the title. The most common sole ownership is held by a single man and women and married men or women who hold properties apart from their spouse, along with businesses that have corporate structures allowing them to invest in or hold interest in real estate. The last option is community property, which is a form of ownership by husband and wife during their marriage uh, that they intend to own together. Under community property, either spouse has the right to dispose of one half of the property or will it to another party. Outside of real estate, property acquired during one's marriage is usually deemed community property and Washington is a community property state. Well, that's what I have for you this week. If there's a topic you'd like to hear about or an idea for a future video like a question or challenge you're having, please let me know. If you like the content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button so you get future videos. Well, that's a wrap, and I'll see you in the next video.